Hello Scorpio, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have retreat and then we also have let go of control issues. At the bottom of the deck we do have very soon. We're going to see why you're getting these three cards for your reading for today. Scorpio and how it resonates with your reading. But with very soon coming out here for you, it kind of looks like someone in this entire situation is a little bit indecisive here when it comes down to a connection that they're currently in. We'll see why this person is so decisive about this connection and what's going on here um for some of you you could be dealing with a virgo i tend to look at the uh, retreat card as the virgo card the hermit uh in tarot but let's see what's going on we're going to focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed how does scorpio currently view this relationship yeah so you're extremely indecisive here about a connection that's currently in your life and it's kind of interesting that you are as indecisive as you actually are um, about this relationship here, mainly because the relationship, right, that you currently find yourself in, it's a relationship that's full of equal give and take. It's also a very, very healthy connection uh, that's currently in your life. So the fact that you kind of find yourself going back and forth about this is very interesting. It's very interesting. It's like a part of you wants to be open and receptive to this connection here between you and this person, but at the same exact time, a lot of you feel like it's not entirely safe for you to do so. I wanna get a rough idea though of why you're so indecisive about this connection, because currently at the moment, I don't understand why you are. Um, so let's look into that before I jump over to your person, so that way I have a rough understanding of what's going on here. Uh, tell me more about the uh, Two of Wands for Scorpio. Let's see. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the uh, Page of Cups. We also have the Six of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Knight of Wands. This is interesting, Scorpio. And now you got the Justice card out here. Everything about this connection here between you and this person, it feels right and it also looks right. I kind of feel like the only reason why you're kind of going back and forth in your head about this entire situation has a lot to do with the simple fact that you don't know if you can fully trust this entire situation um, between you and this person. So I feel like it is going to take some time, I would say, for you to kind of uh, lower your guard down here when it comes down to this person in particular. But the only person that's really um, standing in your way right now when it comes down to you embracing this connection here between you and this person is you. You're the only one really standing in your way and it is kind of stemming from a place of you not feeling entirely safe or secure just yet um, to go there with this person, emotionally speaking, right? Uh, you don't feel entirely safe just yet to go there. Even though everything on the surface appears to look great between you and this person, even though the connection in itself, you know, it looks right, it feels right, you still don't fully trust it just yet. But that's okay, because you're going from the Seven of Wands to the Four of Pentacles. That's a really good sign, because it kind of looks like the more you involve yourself with this person, and you get to know this person, and you surround yourself with this person, the more you're going to start to realize for yourself that, okay, wait a minute, I don't think I actually have anything to worry about after all, because we do see you going from the Seven of Wands to the Four of Pentacles, so that's a good sign. I mean, granted, you're coming into this relationship relationship extremely guarded and I feel like that has a lot to do with your past and that's okay um but I kind of see you over time slowly but surely letting your guard down it's just gonna take some time and this person that you currently find yourself connecting with just needs to be extremely patient with you during the process because it does appear to me that it is extremely difficult for you to fully trust this person and trust this entire situation here between you and them even though they treat you right um, and they're consistent with you and things of that nature, um, you still don't fully trust this entire situation just yet. So it is going to take you some time, dude. It is. Um, but I do like the fact that your guard is, is starting to come down slowly but surely. So we are seeing um, some progress here, I would say, on your behalf. How does this person currently view this relationship? All right. Interesting. We have the uh, Five of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Lovers. Mm. Okay. It's interesting because I kind of feel like this person in particular, it's like, um, how do I explain it? How do I explain it? It's like they're, they're, they're trying to like 
force you, I would say, to see that they basically mean well. Um, it's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. It's like they're trying to force you to see that they actually do mean well. Um, for some of you, this person that you currently find yourself connecting with, they might be consciously aware um, that you're extremely guarded. Uh, they might be consciously aware that you don't fully trust them or this entire situation with them just yet. But I do kind of feel like even if they're not consciously aware, right? of all of this, they're still in this overall energy of forcing themselves to get you to see that they really do mean well and that they really do care about you and that they really do have your best interests at heart, okay? Um, but for those who are consciously aware, right, that you do have, you know, trust issues and that you are extremely guarded right now um, towards them, I kind of feel like it's extremely frustrating for them, especially because according to them, um, they didn't necessarily give you a reason to be extremely guarded and, and to not trust them. So that in itself could very well be extremely frustrating uh, to this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. This person might even feel like um, you're allowing past traumas to get in the way of what you guys could honestly have here with one another and that in itself is starting to become extremely frustrating here uh for this person at the end of the day it kind of looks like this entire situation does kind of require this person to be extremely patient uh with you like i said we are seeing progress on your behalf You're, you went from the seven of wands to the four of pentacles so you are slowly but surely allowing yourself right to go there with this person you know emotionally speaking it's just gonna take you some time you know you're just that type of person that just doesn't let just anybody into your life like nothing you know what i mean like whoever it is that you choose to let in your life it would just have to be somebody that you fully trust it would just have to be someone that you feel safe and secure with and until that day comes we're gonna still see you guarded it is what it is. We're going to still see you guarded, but I understand also too where the, this person's coming from because this person might feel like you're allowing past experiences that you've went through to interfere with what the two of you could have with one another. So I get their whole frustration when it comes down to this connection that they currently find themselves in with you. Um, I don't feel like you mean to uh, walk into this relationship feeling the need that you have to be guarded, feeling like you can't fully trust them just yet. I don't feel like you want to be this way. I just kind of feel like your past has given you every reason to operate from this manner. Um, but like I said, we're seeing progress um, on your end. You are slowly but surely letting your guard down. I just feel like this person has to be a little bit patient with you and a little bit understanding with you. That's it. How does uh, Scorpio currently feel? Okay. So we have the Hermits. We have the uh, Two of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay. I kind of feel like this is you having like a moment, I would say, of like psyching yourself out just a little bit when it comes down to this connection. And here's why. There's a lot of stuff from the past that's coming up to the surface here for you. And it's a lot to handle. It's a lot to freaking deal with. It really, really is. To the point where it's causing you to feel extremely overwhelmed. It's causing you to think, I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I'm not ready for a relationship like I thought I was, you know, things of that nature. So a lot of you uh, could find yourself feeling the need to, you know, retract your energy from this person to really figure out like what it is that you honestly want to do here. Do you want to continue to proceed forward within this relationship? Um, are you honestly ready to face these past traumas of yours or not? Um, you know, things of that nature. But if it's one thing that I will say is this, Scorpio, I feel like the main reason why you find yourself in this this overall energy of second guessing yourself when it comes down to this connection has a lot to do with these past traumas that are coming up to the surface here for you. And like I said, it's a lot to freaking deal with. It's a lot to handle. It's a lot to process. Um, it's a lot of shadow work that needs to take place. It's a lot of healing that needs to take place. And like I said, that in itself can be extremely overwhelming, right? It can be extremely overwhelming. But um, if you don't... If you don't face all of this, as far as your past traumas is concerned, head on, you can turn around and get rid of this human to the right of me all you want. But what's going to end up happening is, is that the next relationship that you get involved in, all of this stuff is going to come back up to the surface here for you. So you might think that you're freeing yourself from something that's extremely overwhelming, um, you know, and, and, and you will 
temporarily you will um, but the next relationship that you do get involved in you're gonna find yourself experiencing this all over again in other words there is no escaping this there is no avoiding this okay I just feel like this connection in particular is causing you to realize oh wow like I didn't actually really heal from this like I thought I did and you know things of that nature and that's fine that's that's fine it happens all the time but if you were to decide to and things with this person because oh this is a little bit too much too much past trauma coming up to the surface all over again I don't want to deal with this I don't want to deal with this that's fine you can get rid of this person just I just want you to know that the next relationship you get involved in all of this will come back up to the surface all over again until you face it head on okay um, but either which way the decision is entirely up to you a lot of you might be thinking to yourself well if I just free myself from this I don't have to think about this past trauma I don't have to deal with this that, and the third which is you know which is true you you will be freeing yourself from this um, you will be freeing yourself from this as far as like you know the, the constant reminder right of this past trauma of yours that you haven't necessarily fully healed from but you would only be freeing yourself from this past trauma of yours that's coming back up to the surface temporarily until you get into the next relationship how does this person currently feel I like this person though I will say that I like this person a lot this person does come off to me as somebody who really does care for you um, deeply, especially with the Queen of Cups coming out here for this person. I do feel like this person does care for you deeply. But one thing that I absolutely love that we're actually seeing here from this person is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, um, it does speak of patience, right? I feel like this person's realizing that, okay, I have to be extremely patient uh, with Scorpio, you know, because... As much as this person might want to run off into the sunset here with you, you may not be ready for all of that. And it's because of all of this past trauma that's coming up to the surface here that's kind of traumatizing you to the point where you don't even want anything to do with love, right? Um, so everything that you're experiencing on your end, it's real. It is real. It is very, very real for you. Um, and I feel like this person just needs to kind of understand that. They also need to understand that they're not in your shoes. They're not in your shoes. So they're not experiencing what you're experiencing, you know? Um, this person comes off to me as somebody who does have uh, healing energy, which is a really good sign because this is somebody who can definitely help you through this journey and through this process when it comes down to healing from all of these, you know, past traumas that you haven't necessarily fully healed from. But they're going to start to realize like, okay, I need to really be extremely patient here and extremely understanding. It's not that you don't want to run off into the sunset here with this person. Is that your past is coming back up to the surface here for you and you're being reminded, right, of like all of the stuff that all these other people have put you through and now you're starting to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm putting myself in danger right now. What am I doing, right? And that's what's causing you to really fall into this energy, Scorpio, is, is just all of the stuff coming up to the surface here for you and it's causing you to think believe and feel that you're putting yourself in danger i don't believe you are putting yourself in danger but your mind is going to tell you that you are putting yourself in danger because of all this stuff that's coming back up to the surface here for you that you haven't necessarily fully healed from that you thought you you know healed from and you're starting to realize oh wow i didn't actually fully heal from this catch my drift um but with the seven of wands coming out here also too for this person like I said, this is somebody who does care for you deeply. This is somebody who does have that fight within them, right? To keep this relationship between you and them intact and afloat. In other words, times are going to get hard in this relationship. And it has a lot to do with this past trauma that you haven't necessarily fully healed from. But because this person has that fight within them to keep this relationship intact and afloat, you got someone here that's clearly not going to give up on you. Which is really nice to see. Which is really, really nice to see. What actions? All right. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Five of Pentacles. Very, very nice. Very nice. I like this. What actions will this person take? I like this. I like this a lot. I feel like you're kind of hitting this person with the can we talk. Um, yeah, I feel like you're kind of hitting them with this, but I like this. I really do like this because I kind of feel like you've been facing all of this all by yourself, trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? All by yourself, you know, and I kind of feel like it's starting to kind of get to that point where you're starting to kind of realize you need a little bit of help and assistance here when it comes down to 
overcoming these past traumas of yours and fully healing from these past traumas of yours, right? So we do see you in this overall energy moving forward um, of being more open and honest with this person that you currently find yourself connecting with in regards to everything that you're actually experiencing here on your end. This person to the right of me needs to understand, right? That everything that you're experiencing on your end is real. It is real. Like this fear that you have it's real. It's like you're really, really experiencing this fear on your behalf. And this person needs to understand that it's real. It's real. So this is one of those situations where they're going to have to honestly take what you're vocalizing to them um, seriously. Because if they do not take how you feel uh, into consideration, what's going to end up happening is that you're going to start to basically feel like, uh, you're being extremely misunderstood by this person and it might even make you feel like this person doesn't really care because they're just so hung up on what they want with me because I feel like that might create a little bit of um, tension here between you and this person. You got to understand that this person over here, they're aiming for something long term. What they want is to run off into the sunset with you like by tomorrow, okay? Now, with that being said, it's kind of hard for you to kind of do that as far as running off into the sunset with them. Um, is concerned because of all the things we already basically discussed, right? So in their eyes, they might process all of this like, oh, well, that just that just means that they don't want to be with me. That just means that they're just throwing a bunch of excuses at me. And it doesn't mean any of those things. This is why it's really, really important that um, when you do have this talk with them, that they take how you feel into consideration and they not... And, and they don't turn around and, and make it seem in their brain, right? That, oh, like they're just telling me all of this because they don't really want to be with me like, like they said they did. I feel like you do want to be with them. I just kind of feel like there's a lot of things that you need to kind of work on way before you decide to take things a step further here with this person. So it's really important that, like I said, when you do have this talk with them, that they take how you feel into consideration and that they also understand, you know, that all of this is not easy for you. All of this is not easy for you. You may have made it seem like, oh, like this, this relationship is going to be a walk in the park. And you may have made it seem that way, you know, at some point throughout the course of your relationship here with this person. But you're starting to realize, oh, wait a minute, it's not easy for me after all, right? Uh, with the five of swords to the two of swords to the chariot coming out here to the ace of swords, I feel like you're just kind of hitting them with this whole we need to talk. So you could very well be texting them this. You could very well be calling them or having a face-to-face -face conversation with them. And you're kind of hitting them with all of this. And anybody who's hit with the whole we need to talk, um, in anybody's mind, they're going to think the worst, right? They're going to totally think the worst. But I don't feel like this is you ending things here with this person. I feel like this is you just kind of being a little bit more open and honest with this person when it comes down to... How you're currently being affected right now due to past traumas that you haven't necessarily fully healed from. And I kind of feel like one thing that you're going to realize once you do this is how much better your relationship is actually going to be with this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. Because for the vast majority of you, you might struggle with being open and honest and, you know, vulnerable with people. Uh, so the fact that we actually see you doing that, it's more progress on your behalf. So just know that. You're making progress here uh, when it comes down to this connection that you currently find yourself in. I want to see the outcome, though, between you and this person. What's the outcome? Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Death card, and then we also have the uh, Two of Cups. As you're drastically changing and, and improving, your relationship is going to drastically and change drastically change and improve as well and those are things that you're going to realize and those are things that your person is going to realize as well not only are you lowering your guard down here when it comes down to this connection that you currently find yourself in and that's something that they're going to witness you're also starting to become more vulnerable with this person and that's also something that this person is going to start to notice um and as, like I said, you're changing, this relationship is going to drastically change ultimately for the better because you are changing for the better. They just need to kind of be patient with you, okay? And they're going to realize that on their own, that they have to be extremely patient with you in the process here um, because what you're going through is real. And it's not an easy thing uh, that you currently find yourself experiencing here on your end. But just know that the more you work at overcoming these past traumas of yours, the better off you're going to be, okay? Now, I do feel like eventually, eventually, 
you will get to that point of wanting to take things a step further here with this person. And when you do find yourself wanting to take things a step further here with this person, your past traumas are not even going to be a fucking thing anymore, okay? It's like, it's not even going to be a thing anymore. It's not going to haunt you. It's not going to bother you. You're not going to be phased by it. You're not going to find yourself um, feeling as triggered as you did back then. Like, you're changing drastically here. And you're drastically changing for the better. And like I said, that's just going to improve your relationship with this person at the end of the day. And like I said, you will eventually reach that point of wanting to take things a step further here with this person it's just going to take time this person needs to just understand too that you're not investing all of this time and energy uh within this connection because you're bored and you don't have anything else to do like i feel like you're truly interested in this person i also feel like you love what you have with this person but it's kind of hard for you like i said to take things a step further the way that they honestly want to um and it has a lot to do with the things that we already discussed but like I said, in time, they will realize on their own that, okay, Scorpio is really serious about me. I'm tripping. Like, let me just be patient with them. Let me just help them through this process. Um, and eventually things will get better. And I do believe that eventually, yeah, things will get better. But you do need a little bit of help and assistance when it comes down to overcoming these past traumas of yours. And by you opening up to this person about everything that you're experiencing on your end, is going to cause this person to come in and want to be there for you. You're dealing with a freaking Queen of Cups for crying out loud. Queen of Cups is somebody who has very healing energy. It's somebody who obviously cares for you deeply. Um, this person might even um, also really love you on top of that. But this is someone overall who comes off to me anyways when I look at the Queen of Cups as somebody who is extremely understanding, somebody who can be extremely patient, somebody who can be extremely nurturing um, and loving and, and just overall um, a healing energy to you. And I feel like that's exactly what you need. So I get why Spirit brought someone like this into your life. Um, because this is the perfect person to actually help you heal from these past traumas and assist you throughout this journey. Um, and if you feel the need that you have to go as far as to like seek therapy, then go off and do that too, you know? Um, but overall, it just kind of looks like you're drastically changing for the better and that's something that they're going to definitely notice. So if they currently find themselves in this overall energy of second guessing you and your intentions towards them, that's not even going to be a thing moving forward. It's not going to be a thing moving forward because they're going to start to notice how much you're drastically changing. And because you're drastically changing for the better, it's going to cause them to feel more safe and secure within this relationship that they share with you. Because currently at the moment, I don't feel like they feel entirely safe or secure. And it has a lot to do with all the stuff that you kind of need to work on. Um, and because you have a lot of things that you need to kind of work on, you can't really reciprocate the energy that they're kind of giving to you in return um, just yet. But eventually you will. So keep up the good work, Scorpio. You're doing good. Believe it or not, you're doing good. I'm, I'm definitely seeing a lot of like progress on your behalf i mean from the seven of wands to the four of pentacles that's nice and the fact that we saw you being more vulnerable with this person that's another uh indication that you are growing and evolving it's just gonna take some time you know what i mean uh for you to become the version of yourself that you truly want to be not only for yourself but also for this uh relationship that you're currently in so keep up the good work okay so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated also too for those of you who want to follow me on instagram or tiktok the link is in the description box down below and i will see you guys in your next reading bye